Finding its origins in ancient Greece, the art of persuasion has influenced many of the most prominent orators recorded history has ever known. It began with the Greek philosopher Aristotle and his belief that the art of persuasion must be studied and mastered in order to truly convey one's argument in the most concise and believable way possible. The main aspect of the classical rhetoric communication theory is that a well-mastered persuasive argument must have three key things ethos, or the credibility of a speaker, pathos, or how the speaker relates to their audience, and logos, a logical and precise pattern of logic. Essentially, this theory highlights the character or reputation of a speaker, the logical basis for their argument, and the emotion of those they are trying to persuade. For my documentary, I applied these three aspects of Aristotle's rhetoric to the persuasive arguments used in Rutgers University mock trial and how perfecting persuasive techniques has allowed them to beat out 700 collegiate mock trial teams and become the number two competitive mock trial team in the country. Essentially, what mock trial is is exactly what it sounds like. Each participating college around the country gets a case packet at the beginning of every school year with a set of case facts, evidence, and other documents typically used while trying a case in real life. Then the team builds upon a persuasive argument around these facts and tries their case against other schools around the country. The only difference is that, at the end of their trial, no one actually goes to jail. In order to properly explain how rhetoric's ethos, pathos, and logos pertains to Rutgers University mock trial, I interviewed local trial attorney Craig Arano, who is also the head coach of the Rutgers mock trial team. In regard to ethos, or the credibility of a speaker, Mr. Arano stated that the foundation of all persuasive speech is credibility. In mock trial, as in real-world practice of law, to persuade the jury or judge that an attorney's position is more correct than the opposing counsel's position, the attorney must appear credible in both their presentation and in their argument. Similarly, the article Law of Evidence states that, in order to interpret the abstract rules of evidence used during a trial, those who are speaking must appear credible in their stance and presentation of their argument of these rules in order to maintain their credibility, and subsequently, their persuasiveness in trial. Regarding the speaker's audience, or pathos, Mr. Arano stated that while in mock trial the jury is instructed to disregard passion and prejudice, the reality is that biases and prejudices influence all people. Developing a connection with the audience or jury is a primary focus of the early interaction between mock trial team members and judges. Similarly, the article Using, using Casual Persuasive Arguments states that the task of persuasion goes beyond simply convincing an audience of the correctness of new information, but to also overcome forces that maintain established beliefs. Basically, what this article is saying is that it is imperative that a speaker connects to their audience in order for their argument to achieve its ultimate goal, persuasion. When asked about logos, or one's pattern of reasoning, Mr. Arano stated that while persuasive speech is designed to maintain or enhance the speaker's credibility and activate the emotions of the audience, ultimately, in order for a lawyer or mock trial team to win, and by win he means prove that their story is more persuasive than their adversaries, the story must be logical. They must be able to answer questions that exist in the audience, jury, or judge's minds in order for their argument to be persuasive. Reflecting this sentiment, the article Value-Based Argument Frameworks states that the strength of an argument depends on the social values that it advances and whether the attack of one argument or another depends on the strength of values advanced by the arguments. Essentially, in order for an argument to be persuasive, it needs to make sense. It is through the understanding and application of Aristotle's classic rhetoric theory that the Rutgers University mock trial team is now one of the top two most competitive and persuasive collegiate level trial teams in the entire country.